much for joining us. Lucy Fraser, do you believe Boris Johnson is fully behind Theresa May as Prime Minister? I don't think what he did was a leadership bid. I do think he is a cabinet member and I do think he is behind the Prime Minister. I think we know that Boris Johnson is uh, an independent thinker. He is uh, enthusiastic and... Uh, and not sharing... bound by collective responsibility. Well, it's interesting that nothing that he actually said in that essay was dissimilar from what the Prime Minister had herself said in the Lancaster speech that she made. Right. So why has he been accused of being a backseat driver? Well, actually, I watched Amber Rudd, the Home Secretary, mm. on Andrew Marr, where that analogy first well, came Well, Damien about. Green said it, actually. In well, the clip it... we've just played, he said he's being a backseat driver. He did. He was following on from the interview that Andrew Marr gave with the Home Secretary, where Andrew Marr put it uh, to the Home Secretary, uh, put the analogy to the Home Secretary, and it was the Home Secretary that picked up on the analogy, which then uh, Damien Green picked up. So you don't up. think he is being a backseat driver? I think he is sharing his very clear views. He was one of the lead campaigners in the Brexit debate. He clearly feels very strongly about this issue. He clearly wanted to share his thoughts, and I think that's what he was doing. Right, so why have we um, had it clarified for us by Cabinet uh, members that Theresa May is the one in the driving seat because she is the Prime Minister. I think that's right. I think the, the Prime Minister is leading the negotiation. But why do they need to say it? We know she's the Prime Minister. I think questions have been put to them and so they have clarified that clearly she is the Prime Minister and she's leading the team and we will have a very important speech. And I think what, what the British people want to know is what actually we're going to negotiate. We've got a very, very critical moment in our history and we need to get the best deal from Europe. And I know what my constituents want is to ensure that the Prime Minister and her team are going to negotiate uh, that deal for us in Europe.